I do have a few items I picked up at Sephora. I want to share my thoughts on them. None of these products are going to go back. I really do enjoy them. Also, I hope to have this video uploaded on my birthday, which is Saturday, June 26. I turn 45 years old. Come on, crabs. Let's come out. Come out of the shell. Happy birthday to all my other fellow Cancerians. Let's go. First up is Gucci Beauty. Now, I got this sample that I actually selected. Shocked that I even got it. You know you never get the sample that you picked. This has their new serum. This is the Silk Priming Serum. Then you get the Natural Finish Fluid Foundation. So I did use the uh, serum first, the serum primer. And it's, you know, it's fine. It, it didn't wow me to the point where I'm like, oh my gosh, I have got to get that. It just feels like any other primer that I have like a medium thick texture. It's not like a lotion. It does feel like a skincare type serum, maybe just a little bit thicker, so not runny. And I didn't really think anything of it. Again, it just feels like anything that I already have. So I was like, whatever. For the foundation, I already knew I was just gonna mix these two because this one looked a little bit too dark. Uh, 380N mixed with 220N. And I mixed them and lo and behold, the color matches me very well. I didn't add any other type of mixer, um, pigment mixer, anything. Just straight mix the two together. I noticed it would work when I looked on my um, finger here and I saw a green tint, just a little bit of a green. I said, okay. So I did use my, um, my beauty blender and kind of spread it out on my face after I got the color down and put it on. Now, also no scent. I don't remember if I said that. So I didn't detect the scent in the foundation either. I noticed that in this region here where the pores, you know, we would have like, let's say enlarged pores, I could see like little holes, like my skin's kind of like, I don't even know how to describe it. I put it this way, I didn't like it. But it's settled on the face fine. As I'm putting on other products, I'm still looking in the mirror going, Put it this way, I'm happy that it came in a sample or I didn't have to go down, run to Sephora and grab a sample, you know, to go do a video, all that mess. I'm, I'm fine that I got it like this. It just, it wasn't wowing me. I did wear it throughout the day. I took it off before I worked out that particular day and I was happy to take it off. When I'm happy to just get it off my face, that's an indication I just, I don't like it. So I feel that it emphasizes whatever you might have going on on your face. And even if you don't have anything going on on your face, it wants to create a mess that's not even there. Next up is Patrick Ta. I got his Major Sculpt Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo always falling out of my hand. I picked out the shade She's Chisel. Since I absolutely adore the top brush, the sculpting brush, I said, let me try the product you know, that it's supposed to be going with. And this color, the shade, is perfect for my skin tone. Cream pan, I feel, must be my favorite because I keep dipping in it and sometimes forget that this bronzer is even in here. I absolutely love this cream. It's creamy, it's very easy to blend out, and it is something that will just build up in tone. I feel that even if you go crazy, you go in with whatever brush you wanna go in, you don't have to buy the matching one, you can get a little crazy. You can feel, oh my gosh, I put too much product on and then blend it out and it's just natural. That is a rare product in my opinion. So I really do, really do like that. And the color is spot on for me, I love it. Now the bronzer, what I do remember to dip into it, it's, it, it's the same thing. It's very easy to blend out. Um, I use sometimes like a fluffy brush, more dense brush, and I don't see the, I don't see any glitter. I don't see any shimmer. I just see something that's very realistic glow on my skin. But again, I keep reaching for the cream. So I feel that the cream is the star. The contour is the star of this palette. It's not going anywhere. I really do like it. Fenty is next. I picked out the Bright Fix Eye Brightener. 
Now, I didn't want anything to do with this. You know, I'm just like, I have enough. I have enough. You know, I mean, I have enough of everything, to be honest. But I kept hearing such good things about this product. But also, it's not from YouTube. Like, I was hearing it from actual friends that this product is really good. So I said, okay, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So I got the shade Honey Mustard Number 11. This color, that honey mustard um, olive tone with yellow in it, that is, that's just one of my favorite shades of all time. It is so perfect for my skin tone, my undertone. I really like it. This is something that I can just wear on its own. And it's another thing where I can't like goof it up if I put too much on, it can blend out. This shade offers another, another product offers a natural, realistic, bright effect under the eyes and the T-zone. And that color just blends perfect into my skin tone. So I'm very happy that I got this shade. This is perfect. I'm not getting any more. I'm not getting any more. We're going to stay with Honey Mustard. Very pleased. It states it instantly hydrates, brightens, and blurs, light as air, sheer to buildable coverage that lasts. That is something where I can see myself, especially during summer, when it is, is the temps are hot where I live. And I'm just going to be wearing that by itself because it just goes, it blends in to my skin tone. It's, I, I just wasn't expecting that. Put it this way. I can see why. Just in real life, friends like that, um, that concealer. Next is from a clean brand. This is the brand Say. It's the Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer. I knew I was going to get this. This is in deep bronze. And it's Say is, of course, on my radar too. I feel that, you know, that whole aesthetic. Neighbor. That whole aesthetic fits me perfectly. So again, I have deep bronze. This is what deep bronze looks like in the pan it looks pretty pretty warm pretty red there pretty deep pretty deep there it is and all it's uh deep reddish brown glory not sure if these shades run warm i do not mind a red based bronzer i do enjoy that i blend it out fine very fast easy i didn't see streaks i didn't see you know like messiness you can build it up it was kind of not going all over the place so it just moves it moves with um the brush so far i've only done it with the brush i haven't done it with a um a sponge or whatnot no scent yeah i did detect a scent i want to also make sure that i'm kind of mentioning not to try to remember i don't recall a scent in patrick ta i didn't notice a scent with fenty now i'm kind of going back smelling everything here yeah, nothing that's too alarming. I'm starting to notice that too. These scents, I'm just, I'm over it. Currently, I don't have a red-based cream bronzer in my collection. So this will just be it. I'm not getting any more. I like this. I like, again, how it performs on the skin. And I'm glad that I have it. Of course, trying out other products from Say as well down the road. Real quick, I just wanted to mention, I picked out the NARS Laguna uh, insider gift here for the birthday gift. I didn't really care for anything else that was in there. So this is something first I want to give you a, a few tips if you're like my skin tone deeper and you're like well Laguna bronzer you know that's not really going to work out on me. Laguna will add that highlighted effect on the cheekbones and to use this eyeshadow if you have my skin tone or darker and you're like I'm not going to pick that as the birthday gift. It works perfect like that so it's no glitter no shimmer as far as the gold reflex that you'll see but it is beautiful on those fast days use it as an eyeshadow very natural glow as a highlighted effect on your cheeks that you can build up no glitter no no chunkiness no none of that but when the sun hits it you look like you have that perfect highlighted effect so definitely try that um, if you, you know, when your birthday comes along, you want to try that. Then you get the Afterglow Lip Balm here. This is in the shade name is Laguna. So to match the actual matching bronzer. 
the shade looks exactly like the bronzer if I wanted to put it on my lips. So it's a nude shade, so I can see that, that nude effect, but it has that that pearlescent, like that glow. This is gorgeous. My last item is the ABH Norvina Pro Pigment Palette. This is volume two. This was actually at Ulta first where I saw it was half off. So I said, oh, I'll get it there. And then it flew out the window. So I knew Sephora would have it too half off, which they did because Sephora likes to copy when Ulta has a sale. So the first glance, I'm looking at the color store and I'm like, it's all over the place like my eyes could not figure out where to focus all i've used right now are the neutral tone like this little section right here here and i haven't touched the black yet and i have the orange so i do have it on now just it was just playing around with it and then i just noticed like i would you know go out uh, for coffee or whatnot, and I was just playing around with the browns. I have used this shimmer down here, which has a punch. That is what I noticed with this palette, and I don't know if the other bigger palettes, the volumes are the same. When you dip your brush in, and then you put it on the lid, like, it is that color. Uh, that's how it was with the matte. Like, it is rich and an intense from the get-go. So if you have the other ones of this, let me know, especially if you have the orange one, because that's the one I've been looking at. So I'm going to play around. I'm going to actually leave this here on the desk, and I want to play around with the color and see if all of this is, you know, pretty much the same. I think I did use the pink one day, too. I can't recall. But if it is, then I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad I have this. I'm not, I'm not taking it back. I couldn't help but compare this Norvina palette to the other ABH palettes. And again, maybe it's just this whole pigment formula, but I like this, this big old palette case formula ones over the other ones, the, um, the ABH. Let's just say ABH brand alone versus the Norvina one. I do see that there is a difference. Just, I like it like the subculture. Stick the brush in, put it on. I know a lot of people don't like it, Subculture, that's one of my favorite palettes of all time, all time. Saturated, rich, boom, easy to blend out like that Norvino one. So I'm very happy I have it. It's going to stay right here and I'll be playing with it and everything here and there. So you'll see some colors and all that mess in my um, future videos. See, you can see a little orange right there and the intensity. So yeah, I like it. I like it. So that's it. The small haul. Small but mighty. If you tried anything listed, leave comments. Let us all know your experience as well in the comments. And thank you. Thank you for just stopping by as always and spending some time with me. It is always, always appreciated. Have a wonderful day or evening. And as always, I'm going to see you in the next video. Please come back.